Okay, so this is going to be my official Junto Nakatani versus Alejandro Santiago prediction. This is a great fight. Um, Junto Nakatani has now become a two-weight champion. He's aiming to become a third weight, uh, three-weight champion. Um, Alejandro Santiago just won a vacant bantamweight title against an older Nonito Donaire, but nevertheless, it was the biggest win of Santiago's career. And I like Santiago. Santiago's a fun fighter to watch. He's a tough kid. He's never been stopped. But let's start by going through the tail of the tape. Junta Nakatani stands at five foot seven and a half. He has a 67 inch reach. He's only 25 years old. Um, his record reads 26 wins, no defeats, 19 wins coming by way of knockout, and he is a southpaw. Long, big southpaw for them lower weight classes, you know. And he's a prodigy, you know. He just got the KO, in my opinion, the KO of the year uh, in 2023 over uh, Maloney. Um, and as far as Alejandro Santiago goes, um, he stands at five foot three. He has a 65 and a half inch reach. He's 27 years old, so both guys are right in their prime. Um, his record reads 28 wins, three defeats, with 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Now, some shit that the, 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 the things that stand out to me on the tail of the tape are number one, uh, obviously Santiago's a lot taller. Or, excuse me, Nakatani's a lot, a lot taller than Santiago. Santiago does have long arms for only being five foot three. He does have a 65 and a half inch reach. So Nakatani's only going to have a very small reach advantage over Nakatani, only an inch and a half. Um, but Nakatani does like to use his height and length. So I do expect that to play a little bit of a factor here. Um, as far as their records go, like I say, Santiago had uh, has three losses. He's never been stopped. Um, and he just beat Nonito on the undercard of Crawford Spence. Now, given that was a well, well, well over the hill version of Nonito Donaire. Um, and, you know, I would never do anything to disrespect Nonito. He's a great guy. He's a great fighter, Hall of Famer, you know. But, I mean, that was an old, what is he, 42? Uh, Nonito, you know. Um, so, it was a good win, but... Let's not play too much into that because, you know, Nonito Donaire is that old and he is that past his prime. You know what I'm saying? So it's a good win, but it doesn't have the the meaning that it once did because Nonito's well over the hill. And you know what I'm saying? And I know what you're going to say. Well, how come you gave fucking Anoe credit for beating Nonito twice, but you're not going to give Santiago credit? Well, because when... <laughs> Because when Inoue fought him, one, it was the World Boxing Super Series, and they had Fight of the Year that year. Um, I had it as runner-up of Fight of the Year. And even in the rematch with uh, Inoue and Nonito, uh, you know, Nonito had just bet, uh, won another title off of Nordin Ubali, an undefeated Nordin Ubali, who seemed to have fallen off the face of the earth. But... Nonito was a, was, was a title holder when even in the rematch when Inoue fought him. So that's why I, I give Inoue more credit for beating him twice than I did Santiago. Because at that point, like I say, Nonito was just way, way, way too far gone. But Santiago got the win, nevertheless. So this is how I expect this fight to play out, man. Um, I think this is a very good fight, first of all. I think it's a very fan-friendly fight. Santiago's a tough little hombre, man. He he comes forward. He likes to throw a lot of punches. Um, he's not the biggest puncher in the world. He's only got a 50% 50, 50 knockout ratio, but he's got a high volume, and he comes forward, and he's constantly throwing. And I think this represents, that Santiago represents a, 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 a decent challenge for Junto Nakatani, who's was, who was an up-and-comer. You know, he's 25 years old. He's already won titles in two weight classes. Um, so I think this is going to be a nice little challenge for Junto Nakatani. I really do. Um, Santiago, like I say, he's a tough hombre, bro. He, he he comes forward. He throws a lot of punches. He's never been stopped. He's got all, over 30 fights under his record, and he's still young. He's 27. So uh, I think I, I think Junto Nakatani is going to have his hands full in this fight. I really do. But as I've been saying to you guys, Junto Nakatani's a special kid, man. He, he's, he's a prodigy. 
you know, Santiago, for all his grit and his, and his, and his uh, volume and his craftiness and his determination, I think he's just going to fall a little bit short against Junto Nakatani. I think that uh, Jun I think Nakatani would be wise to use his height and his reach in this fight, just because Santiago does throw a lot of punches, and you don't want to get hit with some some dumb shit that could uh, you know change the course of the fight. So I think Nakatani would be wise to use that height and reach over Santi that he has over Santiago and maintain the distance from him, just so he doesn't. Like I say, get lured into a firefight, or which I still think it's going to turn into a firefight eventually. But just so he can bank some rounds, and and as far as Santiago goes, man, he's just he's got to got to get on the inside, bro. Uh, Nakatani's got a long reach and a long height on him, so and, and he's and Santiago's got to get in the inside. I would say invest to uh, Nakatani's body so he's not moving around as much. You know, try to close the distance and, and 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 do what you do best and try and maul them. But ultimately, guys, I think Nakatani's just a little too skilled, a little too long, a little too powerful for Santiago to handle. Um, but I think this is going to be a very, very fan-friendly fight. I'm very much looking forward to it. And I think, uh, I think Santiago is going to give Nakatani a handful, but he's just going to come up short. So for my official prediction, I'm going to take Junto Nakatani to win this fight on points in a very fun, very fan-friendly fight in which both guys have their moments. So for my official prediction, I got Junto Nakatani winning this fight on a UD in an 8-4 to four type of fight in which both guys get their medal tested pretty good. So that's my two cents anyways, guys. I'm glad this fight got announced. Um, it's, it is a very good fight, like I say. And I'll be looking forward to it, man. And from my understanding, it's the weekend after the Big Fury Usyk fight. So looking forward to it. Um, uh, and uh, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. God bless you all, and I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Take care and talk to you next time.